set. Hello, John Murray here with Serma. Today we're going to be taking a look at Amsoil synthetic motor oils. It's uh, supposedly one of the better oils. Ex enhanced wear protection, maximum fuel efficiency, superior heat resistance, and excellent deposit control. So we're going to test that here on a Timken machine, as you're aware of. It's uh, got a rotating arbor and a stationary arbor. And then you put weights on it and test the shear strength of the oil. So let's get started here. We've got a bath that's cleaned out. I'm going to go ahead and wipe it one more time, make sure it's all the way clean so there's no uh, contaminants. So today's test is Amsoil. This is the first time we've ever tested it. It's a new bottle. Ordered it in. I'm going to fill it up until it's rotating over the arbor, as you can see here. Rub it on. We're going to let it sit for a second, just like we're going to let our product sit. And we've got a clean specimen here, all preloaded, ready to go. No damage on it. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. What we're going to do is place that on here. We're going to be very gentle with it so we don't cause any damage just by loading it. So we put it on there. And you can, you can hear it as we go. We'll let it ride for a second. As you hear, it started off noisy. Now it's quieting down. And then let's go ahead and start putting one weight on it. Wait a second. Put two weights on it. And that's actually better than mobile one at this point. Three weights. Four weights. Five weights. And as you can hear, it's seizing up. It's really tearing things up. We're going to let it run to see if it will fix itself. It's not repairing itself, so we're going to stop the test. And oh boy, there's a chunk of metal in there. And if we want to look here, it went all the way through the bearing and actually started hitting the housing. So that's probably one of the worst collapses we've seen. Can you see that there on the video? Okay, so what we're going to have to do now, and I'm, I'm not going to cut away, we're going to go ahead and take this specimen off, and we'll start off with a new specimen. Actually, no, let's use the same specimen and just rotate it. Put it on the same exact way. I'm just going to rotate it to a clean spot in the uh, bearing, and I'll show that to you. Okay. Now, we, we achieved five weights on that AMS oil, and that's actually quite high. So I'd have to initially rate that as a, a, a pretty decent oil. That's one of the highest we've tested. But let's see what we can do now. And I'm not even going to add the additive. Let's just add a little tiny bit of our oil to it. And where did my oil go? Okay. Let's add a little bit of Serma to it. Now, this has already been damaged, this arbor here. We let it run after it failed to see if it would fix itself or, or repair or keep going. So I'm going to add a little bit of our oil to it. So we just topped off is all we did. We're going to let that run. And let's see what happens, see if it will take more weights. Now, because our oil has a, oh, you can, I don't know if you can hear that. That's really, really, really bad. So we're gonna we're gonna fight this. So we're gonna let it sit there and try and make a little heat to let our metal treatment come out. And let's keep listening to it. And let's see if it will overcome that damage that was just done with just a, with a small addition of our motor oil. And as you hear, it's starting to quiet down a little bit. There's a lot of damage on that arbor from the uh, Amsoil. When it did collapse, it collapsed in a big way. And as you hear, Serma oil was put in, and now it's quieting down. You heard it when we lowered it. But as it's generating heat, it's going to go ahead and treat the metal as well. And normally this takes a little bit of time, but we're going to sort of rush it here and just see if we can surpass where they went on a clean arbor. We're going to see if we can go past that on a 
torn up arbor. So we have two weights now. We're sort of giving you a little time to treat the metal because it's not slippery, it's a metal treatment. So there's our three weights on the torn up arbor. There's four weights on the torn up arbor and again we're letting it heat up so that our treatment can treat the metal. It's attracted to heat. When it senses heat, which is a friction zone in your engine, certainly the first place it's going is to where that heat is, so it's for maximum protection of your engine. So now we're accelerating this test, but we're already to five. This is where it where it failed and destroyed the bearing. So we're at five, and that's on a torn up arbor. Okay, John Murray here. We've gone ahead and tested the Amsoil. You saw that. There were no cutaways, no uh, hocus pocus. It is what it is. We did it twice even. Uh, I do believe the first time it uh, failed at five and then failed again at three on the next time. So at this point, we've, we've prepared and we're getting ready. We have some oil in here now, exclusive. We've got a uh, new race, as you can see. Okay. And we get all the weights off of here. And we're going to go ahead and test Serma motor oil, which is a Serma 1030 standard oil. It's our lowest model. Uh, we actually sell a racing edition, but this is our base model. And we'll see how it performs on the Timken. As you can hear, it's a little rough on that. I apparently didn't polish it up real good. So we'll let that run for a second until it simmers down. So apparently we really chewed it up when we did the AMS oil test and all the sanding in the world looks like it's going to have a hard time bringing that back. So we're going to let that heat up a little bit, let some of our product come out. As soon as that goes quiet, we'll be ready to proceed. That means that our metals come out, metal treatments come out of the oil and it's actually treating the metal. Because yeah, that actually sounds like it's pretty tore up already. A lot of bouncing going on there. Probably time for a new new uh, arbor. So there's two weights. We're just letting it heat up a little tiny bit so the metal treatment can come out. And you'll actually hear it change. There's three weights. Now that's where the second test failed with the AMS oil when it caused the damage that we're trying to overcome here on the arbor. We'll just let it keep running. And we'll go to four weights. Let it run for a second. Get nice and hot. And we're going to go to five weights. Now this is where it failed with the AMS oil. So what we're going to do now is go one more pass the AMS oil and then take a sample on the arbor and show you what the damage is in comparison. And that's all this is, it's a comparison of film strength. But let's stop that. I don't know if you can see the polish mark it's making. Okay, that's with one more weight than where AMS oil failed. But now that we've done that, let's go ahead and put it back. We've still got a heck of a bounce. That Amsoil really tore that arbor up. It looks like it's time to replace it. We're going to let that run for a second. And let's just keep putting weights on now. Some oils rated at maximum 12 weights. Our base oil is 12 weights. Now if you go into our racing oil, you're going to get up into 20 weights of uh, barrier. So let's go ahead and add one. There's two more than what Amsoil took. There's another, there's three more than what Amsoil took. There's four more than Amsoil took. And it's just now starting to treat the metal. I can see it coming out of suspension. So if we were allowed to let that run for about 10 minutes, we can just load this thing all the way up. But again, we're only tuned to 12 weights. So what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's double what the AMS oil carried. Let's go ahead and stop it and show you the arbor again. The specimen. 
Now, if you can see here, I've actually got the original specimen. This one here was the Amsoil at five weights. I don't know if you can see that real well. Okay, then here's Surma specimen at 10 weights. I don't know about you, but looking at this, I, I know which one I'd choose to run in my vehicle. It's a big investment to take a chance on uh, somebody's claims or claims of doing something. But let's, uh... And don't get me wrong, Amsoil is probably the highest testing oil we've tested here. It's available out in the market. But it just doesn't keep up with the Surma oil. And nothing will. We have 10 weights. That's double where it caused all that damage using the Amsoil in the bath. This is the Surma oil in the bath. It's rated at 12 weights. Let's see if it'll take all 12. There's 11 weights. And there's 12 weights. Now anything cost here is a gimme, okay? This oil is ready to take that weight. So let's see what it will do just out of the standard model that you'd receive if you were. There's 13 weights. There's 14 weights. And I'm gonna make it seize if I can to show you something, to prove a point about how our product will repair damaged metal. So let's see if we can make it stop. I'm going to take four weights and just drop it on. There we go. All right, we, we all heard that stop. So what we're going to do now, let's go backwards. We know it didn't scar until it had all that weight on there. It went 30% over what it was rated at, right out of the bottle. Let's start back here, and I'm going to prove a point. Some is a metal treatment. Now that it's nice and warm, let's see if we can fix this damage. So I want you to listen. And let's see if we can hear it go quieter and quieter. I'm going to put two weights on it. And let's see if some will repair. And there it goes. It's quieting down. So three weights. Four weights. Now we seized that on purpose to damage the arbor and see if it will fix it. As you remember, we did that with the Anzor. We let it just keep running when it seized and it didn't fix it, didn't come back. Well, Surma, you can hear the noise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven weights. So we're already past that on a damaged arbor. Eight weights, nine weights, 10 weights. 11 weights, and here's where it's rated to. It's only rated to 12, okay? But if we let that run for a second, we'll just keep adding the weights. And there she goes again. Now she seized, right? It stopped 100%. Let's see if we can heal it. Take the weights off, let it heal. It's gonna grind. It's gonna grind. Let's hear if it quiets down. Oh, it's starting to quiet down now. So we can keep doing this. With the Amsoil, you couldn't keep doing this. There's where Amsoil failed. Now we've seen this, seized this twice. There's one more than Amsoil. There's two more than Amsoil. There's three more than Amsoil. There's four more than Amsoil. There's double AMS oil. After we've seized it twice. All I know is that this is AMS oil protection. This is solar protection. Okay, minimum. I know I'd rather bet on Surma for my car and for my movement around than I would anything else. Surma doesn't have a hefty advertising uh, budget. We just show you the proof. You make the decision. And uh, we hope to see you as, as a customer using our products because there just isn't anything better.
And I think that'll do it. Proof's in the pudding. Thank you.